the receive side of the radio. I'm going to switch the signal generator back on. It does sound pretty awful. mile off frequency but we know it isn't I think we're going to start start by setting the detector don't normally do this but you just don't know what's happened to the set the detector is 106 which is just down this white bit of wiring harness here so we're setting that for maximum audio on the oscilloscope with a 100 microvolt signal which we have now done and it sounds still absolutely dreadful so we'll start with the transformer 5 and look at a synad meter and an oscilloscope was all right transformer 6 transformer 7 oh I've missed the one there under the uh, wiring I knew I was out of uh, kilter with myself We'll come back to that. Yes, that's uh, that's where we are. One, two, three, four. I'll just pause the video and just see what I'm just going to go through those another couple of times. Okay, that's meticulously set now. And if the S meter is adjustable on this set, we'll go back to a 100 microvolt signal to signal generator and we'll see where that meter reads. Well, it's gone over the S9. Now, some versions of this it's adjustable, and some it isn't. Um, it says here 104 where fitted. Yes, well, and if you wonder why the, I'm just wondering why the meter's not lit up, that's because the whole bulb assembly is missing, so we'll be sorting that out in a bit. Well, it appears that the um, S meter set with 102 on this uh, particular version. There you go. Uh, they do differ a bit, these chassis. And finally, we need to set up the squelch so we'll set the single generator up to off set the squelch on the radio for threshold switch the signal generator on and it's come on now switch the squelch on the radio to full and turn the attenuator of the signal generator for a stronger and stronger signal until that comes in and it never comes in so we need to adjust the squelch preset, which is RV101, which is in the middle of the set here, until that does come back in. Subject to being able to get the tool into the component. And we'll now do that test again. So signal generator off, squelch to threshold. 
signal generator on and it comes in. Squash control to full on the radio. Adjust attenuator is coming in at 100 microvolts, which is S9. And that's absolutely ideal. So that's it. We are set up. And it's receiving about oh, 0 0.1, 0 0.17 of a microvolt. So it's not bad going. Certainly better than a lot of latest sets. So hopefully you'll join me on the air later on. And we'll see if there's somebody to talk to on it. In the meantime, I'll be screwing the... We all know this is the wrong kind of connector, the Unident type of connector. And, but that's how it's going to have to be. Uh, I'll be drilling into the chassis and tapping for the same screws we use in the sides of, of radios. And I'll be fitting a meter lamp and I'll be rewiring the filter switch which has lost its capacitor. So there we go. That's the Midland 3001 from 1981.